Molyneux Stadium may be proudly gold and black, but the city of Wolverhampton has been more blue and red lately, politically speaking. Labour entered the 2019 general election campaign in possession of all three constituency seats. Under Boris Johnson's leadership, the Conservatives crossed the line in two for a 2-1 win. Boundary changes have moved the goalposts this election with all three points or seats to play for. On the new political map, this is the location in Wolverhampton where the three constituencies meet. Across the road is Wolverhampton South East. The train station sits within Wolverhampton North East and the bus station and city centre, well, they're part of Wolverhampton West. But which parties will win some or all of the trio on the 4th of July? Can history give an indication? So historically, Wolverhampton is an industrial city, um, has been a Labour stronghold in the past. Uh, but now we're in a post-industrial landscape. Um, it will be a very positive sign for Labour if that turns back that way. Perhaps Labour might expect to uh, retake two of the Wolverhampton seats, at least one. Carver's Building Supplies is now in its fifth generation as a family-run business. What does the boss want from the next government? Not a huge amount of changes or shocks. I'm concerned from both sides. Uh, will Labour have enough money with their promises? And will the Conservatives have enough money with their promises of, of tax cuts? Henry estimates the rise in interest rates has reduced new build home construction by 20% hitting the industry. The important thing is to have stability. When you make an investment, you're making an investment for a five or ten year return and of course to employ people. What you don't want is the government changing the rules. From the employer to the employees, the election is a subject of conversation. Megan is expecting her first child later this year. Obviously, baby boys, it's going to be like childcare and all the schools and that kind of stuff just to do what's best for the baby, really, when she grows up. How easy has the campaign made it for voters to decide? Immensely difficult. It's a very negative campaign, I think. Everybody's against something instead of for something. So it's it really is difficult from that point of view. Sunshine on Queen's Square. Its name a reminder that much has changed in the country and politics since the last general election. How the parliamentary shape of Wolverhampton will be for the next five years is in the hands of Wolfroonians. Emma Thomas, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton.